Me and my friend Jared decided to cosplay the Super Jaeger Brothers whenever the next Kawaii Con would be. So much hair. How does this look? Does this give your pants the rumbling? I did not like that. Last week was spent making these patterns of these clothes using these tools. Does that sound enjoyable? Does the idea of me sewing Sasageo Yoshinzo? No, you know what? I would watch my cosplay build if my sewing looked like this. Ooh. Ah. Hey guys, this is just a reminder to not use me as a role model and that you should be getting six to eight hours of sleep each night unlike this guy. Anyway, I need to go and buy some fabric and an eyelid tool. Hey guys, just another quick reminder that life is unfair. There's no such thing as altruistic love and they didn't have the eyelid tool that I was looking for. It's fine. I'll just look up a tutorial on how to sew eyelids by hand. With the help of today's sponsor, Skillsh- <laughs> There's no sponsor. I should have slept last night. <laughs> I just keep moving forward. Originally, this video was going to be about how to make your cosplay build vlogs more entertaining, but I don't really watch those anymore because they're so boring. So now, this video is about how to make cosplay, in general, more fun. And fun is a very subjective thing. I play League of Legends for fun because I hate myself and I'm toxic. But the absolute best thing you can do to make cosplay more fun is to cosplay with friends. Yes. Friendship. Now I know some of you are thinking, but Mark, I don't have any friends. <laughs> that sucks. But let me show you how easy it is to make friends at con. And I can say with absolute certainty that the first thing you should do to make friends is to shower and brush your teeth before going to the convention. Pretty please. Pretty please. It's Grand Tuchita. Hey. <laughs> this is... No red shirt, no bow tie. Yeah, this is so weird seeing you without it. <laughs> I know, right? It's almost as if I'm not a cartoon character. <laughs> but you're not. Grant, I want to ask you. Mm. How have you been making friends at the convention all these years? Uh, I would say that a lot of my interaction has been through making content. Mm. So, usually at conventions, if you dress up as a certain anime character, yeah. you can find people of similar, you know, like who, who's in the same anime to kind of resonate oh, with, and that's how you make friends at, at the first, is just being like, hey, you know, you like this, I like this, we'll be, let's be friends. Okay, so you use the like, we have similar tastes. Sort of in a thing. sense. Yeah. Uh, for me though, it's I need to make a video, do you want to be in it? <laughs> you know, and then after I do that, I'm like, here's my card, find me. Do you ever feel like you've been deriving your worth because you can offer people like that kind of service? In a sense, yeah. Um, in the beginning, I just wanted to get content that would resonate with other people. Yeah. In other words, I wanted to give everybody their 10 seconds of fame yeah. for their hard work that they put in. Yeah. But when it comes to YouTube and when it comes to a lot of um, skill sets that you have, you know, you build it up over time and then as you build it up you start realizing that maybe there's more to what I'm doing than just the status quo. Nice. Example is Oh, the little straight. There you go. I can fix that. Yeah, post. fix it. In post. Yeah. Wise words from Grant Uchida, guys. Grant, we're friends, right? Yeah, I gotta go. Kobe, how do you make friends at KawaiCon and such? Uh, well, the two ways to make friends at Kawaii Con would be um, find people who are dressed from the same show or movie that you oh, yeah. like or that you're dressed as yeah. and um, like, you know, just introduce yourself and sometimes, you know, you find like people with a lot of same interests. Yeah. I mean, you do like the same show. Yeah. And then the other uh, thing you could do is, um, you know, if you're dressed as a different show but you see someone who's got a cosplay that you think, oh, that's a cool show that oh, I yeah. watch. Um, ask them if you could take a photo of them yeah. and then you know a lot of people are flattered by that so oh, yeah. you know they totally would be up for it and then you make conversation that way. I guess it seems like starting off with a similar interest is the way to go. Yeah I would say so. Okay. We have the similar interest in cosplay right? Yeah. So would you say we're friends? Uh no. All right well you know today didn't go as planned but I did learn a few things about other people. Why don't other people love me? And about myself. It's because I'm ugly, isn't it? And we also learned that one of the easiest ways to begin small talk with other cosplayers is by cosplaying the same thing as them. So hopefully, other people will be cosplaying Attack on Titan tomorrow. If it feels good, tastes good, it must be mine. And your rules always get remembered, but you know legends never die. Marco. Yeah. 
Would you like to be my friend? No, man. Hanji, is that you? Uh, yes. Would you like to be my friend? Oh, well, no, thank you. Mikasa, what am I to you? Your family. But would you like to be friends? Like in real life? No. Maybe I just wasn't meant to make any friends. What are you doing? Keep fighting! Josh, I, I just don't know. What am I doing wrong? Nobody hits it right off the bat. You met how many people this weekend? Just keep at it. Keep talking to them. Thanks, man. We're friends, right? Uh... It's the last day of Kauai Con, and if I, if I don't make any friends today, I give up. I, I just give up. One more shot. One more shot. Hey, Shino. Wanna be friends? It has been two and a half days since KawaiCon 2022 ended, and I am finally feeling well rested enough to mentally, functionally be able to finish this video, but I'm still definitely socially and emotionally drained. If while watching my extreme exposure therapy to being rejected by a bunch of random cosplayers and friends gave you any amount of anxiety, then congratulations. You probably experience the fear of rejection like most other non-psychopathic people. Let me reassure you that all of that was staged. Everyone who was in the video was super nice, extremely patient, and as understanding as someone could be when asked to be in a video about making friends to cosplay with and then being told to reject my friendship on camera. The same can be said for all the people I asked to be in the cosplay montage which I assure you I will have done by the end of the month of May, if not August. A humongous thank you to all of the people who helped contribute to the making of this video. All of the random cosplayers, all of my friends, and especially the KawaiCon staff. I certainly don't know what it's like to run a convention that has been pushed back for two years but I'm extremely grateful for the experience that you allowed us all to have. I'm going to go back into hibernating now. Good night, everyone. Question. What? How much of your artwork is driven by your thirst? All of it. Is that true, Jared? <laughs> All of it all the time.